Hi there, this is Kenneth B, and you're watching Blue Collar Guy. Okay, we're back. So today, I'm going to be talking about microphones. I'm talk about the Forvella S20 by a company called Small Rig, right there. So, Small Rig is a company that usually makes uh, accessories for cameras. Uh, I bought one of their cages for my uh, Sony ZV-E10. Uh, they make all kinds of attachments so you can mount uh, um, things to poles or, or additional quarter 20 mounts or just all kinds of things, little clips. They've got stuff for GoPro. They've got all kinds of... Uh, uh, accessories and camera accessories that we use um, but they don't I didn't know that they had a microphone and they do there is other reviews on this microphone and it is a very um, interesting that uh, they decided to take on the microphone market because there's a lot of companies involved in the microphone market you know let's face it um, so their microphone that they have, and uh, you'll have to forgive me because I, I got things a little out of reach, is it is a capsule microphone. I'm going to get it for you. So I'm going to just take this out. Sorry about that. And it looks like this. So it looks just like a shotgun style microphone. And it comes with this little cage where you can mount it on your camera. So you just clip it on like so. Uh, let me just get it on there. And it looks like that. Okay, so the only thing is, is you got this issue, you know, nobody likes that. So uh, you can, oh, the other thing though is you can, you can take that off and mount it directly to a microphone stand if you wish. However, um, it comes with the lavalier mic, which plugs into this little jack here, like so. Then you've got a lav mic for yourself and a shotgun mic for someone else, or you can put this on you and the lav mic on them. The microphone also has a mono and stereo switch so you can go mono stereo stereo will separate the channels this will be on one channel this will be on the other channel why would you do that well let's say your levels weren't good on one you could adjust them separately in post and possibly fix it maybe there was noise on that channel you could eliminate it that sort of thing uh, if you put them on mono It'll come in a little more clear, but they're both trapped together. So if one is messed up, it's gonna mess up the other one. So I might recommend keeping that on the uh, stereo. Now, one thing that I didn't like obviously was the suspension mount. It's a $50 microphone, you know? Um, it doesn't sound like a two or three or four hundred dollar microphone but it doesn't sound bad and I'm going to give a demonstration on that right now so I'm going to hook it up to my cell phone and show you what that sounds like right now hi there this is a demonstration of the Forvella S20 microphone this is the shotgun part of the microphone it is not the lav mic part of it it is just the part that is the shotgun so if you can see this it's pointed at my face i'm about mm, i guess six eight six to eight inches away um, this is a little bit farther now we're going to go out about 12 or so inches and this is what it sounds like out here so i'm going to hook in the uh, lav mic setup and we'll check out what that sounds like so i've got it in my double suspension by the way because i like that one better and i'm going to show you what that sounds like 
uh, with that one and with the Boya, okay? So I'm gonna pause and then we'll try that. So this is the sound with the lav mic that comes with the Forvilla S20. This is what it sounds like on a Google Pixel 4a phone. And I don't know any other way to demonstrate. I guess I can put it down here and show you what it sounds like if I'm just, you know, at this point, you know. Uh, I've got it in the stereo um, microphone setup. So the one is the channel for the shotgun. Now this is what they both sound like if they're both pointed at you. So I have both of them pointed at me right now. One will be the left channel, one will be the right channel. So now I'm going to put them in mono. Okay, so this is what they sound like when they're both in mono on a Google Pixel 4a. I'm doing the microphone check. This is the um, lav mic setup with the on the mono. This is what it sounds like if I have the shotgun pointed at me with the lav mic at the same time. And that's what that sounds like. So now I'm going to change over to the Boya M1, which is a, a, a condenser, uh, has a, has a built-in amplifier. And I'm going to hook that one in and show you what that sounds like. So, Okay, so this is what the uh, Boya uh, battery-powered lavalier microphone sounds like hooked into the uh, small rig S20. I have both microphones pointed at me as you can see I have this one and this one I'm gonna point this one away now away from me so this one is now pointed away and I'm only using the lavalier microphone the Boya and the other one is pointed in the opposite direction this is in the stereo uh, setup so now I'm going to switch over to the mono okay now they're both in mono so they're both being recorded to the same track this is what the Boya M1 sounds like with the uh, Forvella S20, both on the same track. I've got the Forvella pointed away from me, and now I'm gonna point it towards me. This is what it sounds like towards me. I'm about six to eight inches away from my face. So uh, I've got the dead cat on there too. So that way it gets rid of the, uh, what do you call it, noise pop or whatever. So anyways, I hope that this demonstration shows you what it would sound like on a phone. This is a base basic setup and I'm you know I, I think that it, this would be like worst case scenario. If you were to hook this into a DSLR you'd probably get a little bit better results uh, like a mirrorless or something like that but uh, I don't think it's a horrible microphone. I'm I can't I don't even know the results myself. I'm going to listen to this and see what it says and we'll, we'll go from there. And we'll see if there's a lot of amplifier hiss from the Boya because it does have an amplifier built into it. I'm not going to touch or dress anything. I'm not gonna run it through special processors, none of that. I'm just, this is the raw audio input. Okay, we're back. So that's what it sounds like with the capsule, the lav, that sort of thing. So I have this Boya uh, lavalier microphone. And as you can see, it's got a massive rat's nest of a cable. And it has this little box right here. So it has a built-in amplifier. So this is more of a condenser mic and because it has an amplifier, it's going to get your levels up a lot better. It's gonna sound a little different, maybe a little more clear, but because it has an amplifier, you're going to have an issue with some amplifier noise. Uh, that can be in the form of buzzing or hissing. These things can be annoying. If you look at some of my other videos, you'll see that I've struggled with audio on a certain things. And the reason why I've struggled with it, and even though I'm embarrassed to say this, I have a background in audio engineering, you'd think I wouldn't have issues with levels and sound. Um, but I'm still limited by a budget, okay? So when I did audio engineering for the people, I was using $3,000 microphones, I was using expensive amplifiers, I was using XLR cables, XLR cables, 
and those are balanced lines which means that they have less problems with interference you start doing youtube videos for yourself you can't afford all that stuff so you got to go uh, the most inexpensive route you can the work unfortunately will suffer as a result um, I, would al I was always hoping that at least the story, my content, would be what would capture my audience. And I really uh, appreciate the audience and them sticking with me through that journey. Right now I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So things are changing. Lighting is getting better. Uh, cameras are getting better. Uh, it's all part of the journey. You start small and you build your equipment over time. Don't expect to uh, do that overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. You really have to invest a lot of time and effort and energy and your own money and funds into it. So this little microphone comes with a foam, dead cat, um, and... Uh, Where's the foam? I had the foam around here somewhere. I guess I must have misplaced it. Anyways, it has a foam insert. If I know me, I'm sitting on the thing. Uh, no. It comes with all the cables for your phone. It comes with cables for uh, mirrorless DSLRs. I want to show you those because I do have those. So this is one for your phone because it has tip ring ring sleeve. One of the rings is for, of course, your microphone input on your phone. The other ones are more or less for left, right, center channel ground. Um, and the, uh, where was that other cable? And then the other one is just a TRS to TRS. That's for your... Um, regular DSLR. So I have this and this is a suspension setup for microphones that I got when I had my H1N recorder which was my attempt at using separate audio. Now I do have a separate audio recorder and people say well why didn't you use that and then just you know do it in post. The problem with that is that when you have a job, you are, you know, these things take time to sync up. These take time for editing. Editing is hours. Okay, so you're getting into YouTube. Be prepared to spend some serious time, and you're going to have to get editing programs. You got to do some investing. Um, so I like the suspension cage better than the single point. Double point will always give you better um, isolation for vibration. So how that works is it's got these little rubber bands, like so. You just put that through there. You put your microphone uh, jack up there. It looks a lot better. You take this little guy here and you... Put that there like so, and bam, it looks like you got a $300 microphone. How about that, eh? Um, and uh, it sounds pretty good, in my opinion. Um, now, keep in mind one thing. So, when you're doing audio, when you're getting these type of reviews on audio, okay, I'm going to demonstrate what this sounds like on a Google Pixel for a phone. So don't judge the microphone solely by the microphone. There's also the amplifier in the phone. There's a lot of components uh, in between. Uh, when you're watching reviews on microphones, be very careful because some guys can fix things in post. In other words, they can enhance the audio, they can run it through very expensive sound mixers, which are worth all, m way more than the microphone is. So you can make a piece of crap sound good if you're using the right equipment is what I'm getting at. I don't have an affiliate link for any of this stuff like this. I used to. And the reason why is, to me, it's a lot more honest if I'm not trying to sell you something. Um, 
and yeah I just want you to get what I think might work for you when I started watching YouTube videos I I really appreciated the help that I get I still watch YouTube videos for help and I'm more geared with the people that are more interested in helping me with my creativity and bringing a lot of that to fruition in the most expensive way, inexpensive way possible. I would like to pass that knowledge and what it's done for me onto you. So, um, again, you know, this little lav mic that comes with it probably isn't worth more than three or four dollars and that's why it doesn't sound very good and that's why I'd recommend the Boya rat's nest you know built in you can also hook in a wireless mic system into that jack so let's say you're filming someone and then you got someone else and they need to be mic'd wirelessly you can have the input of that hooked into here and then you can hear um, them. So if you had someone on like, let's say a bicycle or a skateboard and you wanted their audio to be captured, you could do that on another channel while using the shotgun mic on someone else. I've even got a splitter where you can take this input, split it into two inputs. You could have a third person on a wireless microphone. You could have one on yourself one on someone else you see where i'm going with this right and that's what it boils down to trying to do the most you can with the least you can so i hope this video helps uh the audio representation that i gave you is untouched straight out of camera right to my phone so right from the microphone to the phone and that's what it's going to sound like and that's what you're going to get so that's what i think people want you don't want to have it run through a processor you don't want to have it enhanced you don't want to have it noise reduction you just want to know what does it sound like in its raw form on a basic amplifier and a google pixel 4a is not an expensive phone so you know you're not going to have an expensive phone um, you know if you do then it'll probably sound even better so I'm giving you a pretty good average I think so I hope this helps and be safe at work have a good day and I hope you like my new setup because 2024 is going to be a much better year for blue collar guy I've got a lot of exciting things uh, there's more to come so uh, there's the, uh, I believe I'm going to a Christmas parade tomorrow. I'm going to film that using some unique setups. Uh, I've got things that I'm going to be doing that you haven't seen anywhere else. And it's not going to be something that would cost you a fortune to do. So I'm trying to go stick with that theme because blue collar people don't have a lot of money to be thrown around. You want to get your biggest bang for your buck. I've, I've said that right from the beginning of my channel. And I just want people to be happy with the information that I'm giving them. So if you're happy with the stuff that I've been telling you, please let me know. And I wish you all the best. Take care and have a great day.